Okay, so here's a quick demonstration of the Nucleus Mark 1 we have for sale. As you can see, it's hooked up here to an iMac uh, 2014 uh, using our well, operating system is Sierra uh, with an old version of Pro Tools. Uh, the main feature here is obviously the control surface. Uh, in this situation, we have it uh, in Pro Tools mode. And um, if I just hit the transfer button, you can see it probably trembles. Fader movement, if I just do the fader movement right here, and you can see it, there we go. Pan movement, you can see there. Cut, or rather solo. Cut. There we go, we can select on the transport right here. Pan features, and you've got all the various other features. The flip button, if I hit the flip button, that should now change to different modes. So you can see the changing from fader to sends. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, as the as we pointed out, this uh, being an older machine, the audio interfaces or the audio interface doesn't work, or rather because the drivers are no longer supported. And the workaround is simply using the mic preamp. Play, play, headphone. There we go. We come to one headphones. Inputs, so that's fully functional, yeah, that's working with the headphone output plugged in to the preamp inputs or the uh, other various inputs that it has on the back, you can use it quite happily in that situation, yeah, so that's fully functional and you can Try that with your own interface or do it with whichever way you like. You don't have to use the onboard USB uh, like this one. This is uh, set up with an iMac 2012 running um, Mavericks. And on this system, the uh, audio interface is fully supported. If I hit play, you can see the audio inputs coming through. Headphones, headphone level. Fader movements, that was normal. And solos, cuts, select, and all the rest of it works perfectly as you'd expect. And the same thing with this system as well. So, <clears throat> hope that was useful. Um, any questions? Give me a shout. Bye for now.